Hello lovelies, it's Lex. Welcome back to 60 Seconds. I'm not sure why the music isn't playing, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> We're still going to play it. Uh, I'm hoping that we do better. That we do better. It's always nice to do better, huh? All right, let's grab two of these foods and Tim Tim. Hopefully we can find the radio. Finding the radio seems to be... I mean, obviously having the radio is an advantage, but it's it's almost more than that. Oh, God damn it! I went the wrong way! I, I almost, like, the radio is a fucking essential at this point. Like, if you don't have it, you're just not gonna win. Alright. I just don't... I haven't seen it. Maybe it's in the kitchen with our wife. Oh, no, it's right there. It's right there. Alright. Radio. Wife. Map. Okay. Gas mask. Checkerboard. Another water. Oh my god. Okay. We might be we might be okay. We got the radio, we got the map, we got some fangs. Hopefully we're all good. Hopefully we're all good. I just wanna double check something real quick. Oh yeah, we're good. I was worried I wasn't recording. <laughs> Story of my fucking life. Alright, there's already bullets down there. We got a bunch of water, we got a bunch of soup. We have more water than soup actually, which is weird. <coughs> I don't know that I've ever had more water than soup. Phone is ringing. Thank you for eating your other questions. How to be fun to vote? Mary Jane is fine. Timmy is fine. Dolores is fine. <coughs> Ted is fine. Did next week you get a phone call so soon? Send Timmy. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> It was a trap. Some crazy maniac started firing as soon as he ventured out into the street. All right, so Timmy got hurt. Mary Jane is thirsty. Loris is thirsty. Ted is thirsty. But we are going to wait a day. The layers behind the kids says we can hear a voice. We should probably listen to it. But what about the children? Listen to it. Fuck those children. But not literally. Relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't the Soviets, so we heard it turned out it was Canadians, which isn't much better. Oh my god. Either way, they're foreigners and we can't understand what they're saying. Not a word. How disappointing. Alright. Everybody should be thirsty now. So we'll go ahead and water everybody. Okay, Mary Jane is fine, Timmy is fine, Dolores is fine, Ted is fine, everybody is good. What was the sound of the galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed like they come from medieval fair. We identified this was the sound. One of them was like, two oh, this is like the body python thing. They were hitting the, the rocks together like coconuts. Said they were looking for some antique cup, but they got lost and they would be grateful we'll let them check out our map. Yeah, go ahead. So, yeah, they let them look at the map. They gave us an axe. Mary Jane is hungry. Timmy is fine. Dolores is fine. Ted is fine. So nobody's getting fed yet. Okay. So, Mary Jane is hungry and thirsty. Timmy is thirsty, Dolores is thirsty, Ted is hungry and thirsty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and feed and water everybody. Send Timmy again. <clears throat> Even though it was bad last time, I'll still send the boy. <laughs> Answer the phone. Guess you'll leave the introduction of the saviors or survivors from a nearby town. Alright, Mary Jane is fine. 
Timmy should eat something, but I just fed him, so he's- I'm not gonna feed him. Or we're gonna prepare for an expedition. But I think I'm gonna send Dolores again. She was- she was pretty good going by herself last time. Alright, Mary Jane is fine, Timmy is hungry. I just fed you, you little shit. Alright, we're gonna send Dolores, and I'm gonna give her the gas mask. We'll see how it goes. She was okay last time. I like to wait. You guys know I like to wait until like day 10 before I send anybody out. All right. Mary Jane is 13. Timmy should eat. I just fucking fed him. No. No one's getting anything. All right. Everybody is thirsty. Well, you can all have water. Just like, I'm gonna have some of this glorious water right now. But I'm not feeding Timmy again. He's being, he's being a little food hog. Mary Jane is hungry, but Timmy and Ted are fine. So nobody is getting anything. There's my girl. Brought back a bunch of water. Good girl. All right. Brought back three water and two soup. So Mary Jane is hungry. Timmy isn't feeling well. Dolores is hungry and Ted is hungry. So we're going to go ahead and feed everybody. We'll prepare for expedition. When the eugenics which is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your door so claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. This is only what happened to us. Should we let those people... No, 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 no. I better not get robbed again. Fuckers. Sounded harmless, but can harmless people really be trusted? Yeah. Mary Jane is thirsty. Timmy is thirsty. Dolores is hungry. And Ted is thirsty. So we'll water everybody except Dolores and give her food. And we're going to wait another day. And we'll prepare for expedition. All right. Dolores wants something to eat and drink. Mary Jane is fine. Timmy is fine. Dolores wants both. Prepare for expedition. We're going to have to send Timmy, it looks like, unless somebody sleeps. Oh, Mary Jane slept. Okay. Mary Jane has rested. Timmy is fine. Dolores would like something to eat. There's nothing new with Ted. All right. So we're going to send Mary Jane and I'm going to give her the gas mask. I like giving them the gas mask for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think it necessarily improves their chances of coming back, but I kind of feel like it does. Timmy is fine. Dolores is fine. Well, Ted wants some water, but I'm going to wait to give it to him. So he's a leading trader. That's Sherikov again. Sherikov is a cat, I guess, for anybody if you're new. We get Sherikov all the time, so. All right. Everybody is thirsty. Okay. Timmy's fine. Dolores is fine. Ted is hungry, but I'm not going to feed him. <clears throat> Hopefully my girl MJ is back soon. Not looking good. All right. Timmy is hungry. Dolores is fine. Ted is hungry. Timmy and Ted are hungry. All right. We'll save the radio, definitely. The gas mask is with Mary Jane. I don't have a flashlight, so... Mary Jane is supposed to be back. Yeah, she's dead. All right, so the radio's all right. Timmy wants something to drink. All right, everybody's thirsty. Young dress woman in white knocking on the door telling a story of her missing twin brother who is missing the head. Blah, 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 blah. If we do, she says we might be. Yeah, send Timmy. Whatever. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> so 
a submission. Finding her lost mother that was hanging on top of some next to a fence trying to escape. His injuries were just fine. Thanks us a hundred times, they would definitely contact us again. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland. Alright. Dolores is hungry. Ted is alright. Someone about the remains of a bandit shanty town. Someone or something tore down and said it's where we found a cat. Yeah, alright. Well, let's share a cop in now. He's so cute. He's so cute. Okay. Alright, so Ted is allergic to Cherkov. Timmy's dying. Dolores is fine. Ted is sick. Send Timmy. <laughs> we killed our, our one child. Send our other child. Alright, Dolores is thirsty. Ted is thirsty. Spiders. We'll look at the book. If Mary Jane was here, I wouldn't do anything because she gets bitten by the spider and becomes like super Mary Jane. It's pretty awesome. Precious are woman for waging insect toys. Alright, so we found a water, so that's good. Ted's hungry, but I'm gonna not feed him for a minute. Signal has to wait. Dolores is fine. Ted is hungry. I guess I'll feed Ted. <laughs> Dolores is thirsty. Ted is thirsty. I'm going to wait a day on that. Cherikov is still a fresh addition to our little family. We keep an eye on him. Today we just noticed something else on his collar. No. Come on, Timmy. Get your little Tim Tim ass back here. Cat belongs to us now. While playing in the shelter, share a custom with this one in the box. Alright, so we got a bug spray. Everybody's thirsty. Supplies are scarce and our morale is low, you know, so they were pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby mostly. Oh, yeah, rob the old people. <clears throat> No Tim Tim yet. We got a flashlight. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back. He's not back though. Found four soup and a water in a suitcase. Dolores is hungry and Ted is tired, but t maybe, oh, maybe he left. It's possible he left because I wouldn't heal his injuries. At least he came back with the stuff he came back with, though. Okay. Dolores is fine. Ted is fine. I guess we're gonna send Ted. We're, we're doing pretty well right now. Uh, Dolores is thirsty. I'm gonna have her wait a day. I just found that miner's been feeling of an injury. Cut her foot off. <coughs> It'd be cutting off. Alright. So we heard the axe. Dolores is thirsty and injured. Holes in our bunker, one just for they, they can easily fit a cat. We know Sherikov has been sneaking every other night and coming back in the morning. Found something edible nearby, just like to go out for the night. If that's the case, we want in on this. Should we follow him? Okay. Took us to an old junkyard that's inhabited by a lone resident of self scientist living in an old bus, converted into a lab. Seemed happy to have his pet back, although the cat showed no enthusiasm at the prospect. We exchanged a small talk, but truth be told, we were kind of in a hurry to get out of there. Alright, so Mary Jane's hurt, but I don't have the med kit for her. Hmm. 
really would like Ted to come back. No, I can't do anything about Dolores' injuries. Teaching works every day, same age every two. We know a teacher from a school rescued a bunch of kids when the bomb fell. We also know what kind of supplies are at the school shelter. Yeah, fuck the kids. But not literally. Cherikov's back. Yay! Alright, we got a soup. Cherikov somehow found his way back into the shelter. We're not sure what exactly transpired between the little guy and its owner. Dolores is hungry and thirsty. Able to catch the military broadcast again as soon as we get a flashlight and signal them. Come on, Ted. Found his plan. Our flashlight stopped working. Open the bunker door, let her finish with a small suitcase. There was a note on it, and it's no. Come on, Ted. I think Ted's dead. Yeah, Ted's dead. Booby trap. I heard some bandits around. Maybe they left the suitcase. They're lurking in the shadows, waiting to steal all of our cans. Everything's all right with Dolores. I can't send Dolores. She's curious. The sheriff caught found a tiny wire stuck out from the ceiling and pulled it, blasting debris from the table. What is this? Nobody remembers it being their way. Yeah. Examine the wire. These are the guys that are they're saying that Sherikov's a spy or whatever. Grabbed it and followed it. Dolores is thirsty. Plus, I will only have Dolores to worry about. I know at the door want to explain themselves. Sure. Thus, they're gonna say that Sherikov's a spy. Oh, Dolores went insane. Fantastic. All right. Well, now we're kind of just hanging out with Dolores. She's the only one I got left, so... As long as I have the food, I mean... Isn't it full container? We're not sure what kind of much. So, Dolores is fine. She's just crazy. Sherikov seems to be fond of our checkerboards. His favorite game is just a trick. Considering taking the game away, should we let Sherikov play with the checkers? Yeah, I don't care. He instantly got bored of it. Alright, Dolores is hungry and thirsty. I can't send her out. Right. Here's your book. I know I don't have the med kit. We know some drawings of a half ruined wall nearby. I guess we'll send Dolores. She's the only one I can send. She's back with the gas mask and is not looking good. High tech setup involving paper cups. We want us to go on one successful expedition and write down what we saw in the journal. No, we're not doing that. Oh, Dolores. Dolores is fine. A wasteland full of surprises like this man knocking on our door. Now he can't claim that he is willing to offer a lot for decent- Yeah, give him the ammunition. I don't have the gun. I don't care about it. He gave us a soup. Dolores is thirsty. Military communicating through the radio. We share the signal. The speaker requested that able citizens should be able to chop down a tree or two in a nearby park. No, I'm not doing that. I don't have the axe. We use it on Dolores' broken leg. <laughs> How is she not dead? Oh, God. I think this may be the farthest we've gotten while we've been playing. Day-wise, I mean. Dolores' health has not improved. Yeah, no shit. 
Knock on the door. So when a man came by a door store offering a highly probable game of cards, I don't have cards, so no. But Sherikov's still there. He's so cute. Here's gambling habits. Dolores should get it. Dolores is thirsty. I don't have the med kit. We're kind of just waiting for her to die. I'm not doing anything for those agents. Uh, Dolores is hungry. I can't send her anywhere. I have no need to send her anywhere. Day 50. Her injuries. I can't fix her injuries. I don't have the damn med kit. The fuck was that noise? Oh, we killed the rad roach thingies. She can really irritated and she was in tears and apologizing. Oh, we lost a suit because of Dolores. Well, she's the only one there, so she's just sabotaging herself. Did we die? We died! <laughs> Alright, well, that went a lot better than I expected it to. I thought we were gonna die way sooner than that with Dolores being so sick. Alright, well, that's definitely the farthest that we've gotten, I'm pretty sure. But I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if anybody is interested, I do have links in the description, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and a couple other things if anybody wants to check those out. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Thanks again for joining us. And I will see everybody later on.